I'm glad to be here. Drago mi je što sam ovdje. Now you may be wondering who's this guy. Ali možda se pitate ko je ovaj čovjek. So let me say a little bit about myself. Zato mi dopustite da vam kažem nešto o sebi. My parents came from India. Moji roditelji su poreklom iz Indije. But my father, my parents worked, my father worked for the British government in Kenya, East Africa. Ali moj otac je radio za britansku vladu u Keniji, u istočnoj Africi. So I was born and raised in Africa. Tako sam rođen i odrastao u Africi. So I'm Indian by blood. Po krvi sam indijac. I'm an African by birth. By blood? No, by blood I'm Indian. Aha. By birth, I'm African. Po rođenju sam Afrikanac. By nationalization, I'm an American citizen. Po nacionalnosti sam američki građanin. But by choice, ali po izboru, I'm a citizen of heaven. Ja sam građanin neba. And I'm here to share with you some incredible good news. I sa vama sam da podelim neverovatnu radosnu vest. Which I want you to experience koju želim da i vi doživite, da iskusite. I nadam se da će ona potpuno promeniti vaš život. Ali ove večeri želim da pokrenem kamen spoticanja za ovu nevjerovatnu radosnu vest. I travel all the world Putovao sam po celom svijetu. Everywhere. I svuda. I see a problem. Sam vidio jedan problem. Which is hindering people from understanding the good news of the gospel. Koji s ljudima pravi problem da razume evanđelje. When Jesus came to this world 2,000 years ago. Kada je Isus pre 2000 godina došao na ovaj svet. The angel announced to the frightened shepherds. Anđeli su objavili u plašenim pastirima Don't be afraid. Ne bojte se. I bring you good news. Donosim vam radosnu vest. Of great joy. Velik, vest, velike radosti. For every people, all, all the world, everybody. Za svakoga po celom svetu. And that includes Yugoslavia. I to uključuje i nas u Yugoslavi. But unfortunately, ali nažalost, to many people, The gospel is not good news. Za suviše mnogo ljudi evanđelje nije radosno. It is good advice. To je samo dobar savjet. You must do this, this, this. Moraš da uradiš ovo i ovo i ovo. Then God will take you to heaven. A onda će te Bog uzeti na nebo. And you try to do the right things. I ti pokušavaš da činiš ono što je pravo, što je dobro. You are sincere. Iskren si. But you fail. Ali ne ustavaš. And your hope of salvation begins to become in doubt. I nada spasenja počine da bledi, da se zamaduje. The gospel is not good advice. Evanđelje nije dobar sad. It is incredible good. Ona je, ona je nevjerovatna, radosna vez. And this is what I want to share with you. I to bih želao da podelim sa vama. But we must remove the stumbling block. Ali morate da uklonite taj kamen snoticaj. And here it is. I evo ga. The Bible speaks of two phases of two dimensions of salvation. Biblija govori o dve faze ili dve dimenzije spasenja. Now these two dimensions of salvation te dve dimenzije spasenja are related. Su srodne, u vezi su, povezane su. But they are also distinct. Ali su također odvojene. And it is the failure to see the distinction that has caused the problem. I problem nastaje kada ne možemo da vidimo razliku između njih. Now what are these two dimensions of salvation? Koje su dakle te dve dimenzije spasenja? On the one hand, the Bible speaks of salvation as an accomplished objective truth. Biblia govori o spasenju kao o već urađenoj kompletnoj istini. In the birth, life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
u rođenju, životu, smrti i vaskrsenju Isusa Hrista. On the other hand, s druge strane, the Bible speaks of salvation as a subjective Christians by believers. Biblija govori o spasenju kao o nečem subjektivnom što doživljava vernik. And I want to show you the distinction between those two. I ja želim da vam pokažem razliku između ove dve stvari. Because most of what you hear from the pulpit jer većina onoga što čujete sa propovedalnice most of what you read in, in Christian books većina onoga što čitate u hrišćanskim knjigama has to do with Christian living. Govori o hrišćanskom životu. And so many take make the mistake that this is the gospel. I mnogi prave grešku misleći to je evanđenje. Christian living is not the gospel. Hrišćansko življenje, hrišćanski život nije evanđenje. It is the fruits of the gospel. To je rod evanđenja. It is the evidence of salvation. To je dokaz spasenja. And unless we see the distinction between the gospel and its application, i ako ne vidimo razliku između evanđelja i njegove primene, we will be insecure about our salvation. Nećemo biti sigurni u svoje spasenje. Let me give you my example. Uh, dopustite mi da vam dam primjer. My wife and I were missionaries in Africa for 18 years. Uh, moja supruga i ja smo bili misionari u Africi. Six of them was in Ethiopia. Šest godina u Etiopiji. One year after we arrived in Ethiopia. Uh, godinu dana nakon što smo stigli u Etiopiju. Ethiopia went communist. It had a communist revolution. Uh, bila je komunistička revolucija. And they announced on the radio. I na radio je bilo objavljeno. There is no more room for God. Više nema mesta za Boga. In scientific socialist Ethiopia. U uh, naučnoj socijalističkoj Etiopiji. And many of the educated Ethiopians. I mnogi obrazovani Etiopijani. Uh, began to leave the church. Uh, su da napuštaju crkvu. And so I wrote a book. I onda sam napisao knjigu uh, against communism. <laughs> po, protiv komunizma. I read Karl Marx. Čitao sam Karl Marx. I read Das Kapital, Communist Manifesto in other stuff. Komunistički uh, manifest i druge njegove stvari. And I showed the weak points. I pokazao sam slabe tačke njegovog učenja. And I we published the books. Objavio sam knjige. I spoke openly against communism. Otvoreno sam govorio protiv komunizma. In public places. Na javnim mestima. And after five years. I posle pet godina. I was transferred to Kenya. Prebačen sam. Bio sam prebačen u Keniju. But we could not leave Ethiopia. Ali nismo mogli da napustimo Etiopiju. Without an exit visa. Bez izlazne vize. So we went to the immigration office. Otišli smo u imigracijonu kancelariju. And the officer made my wife and I sit on a wooden bench. I službenik je kazao da ja i supruga sedemo na jednu drvenu kuhu. And he had a passport in front of us, him. Držao je izvrt sebe naše pasoše. And he had a thick black book and he was looking slowly. Imao je debelu crnu knjigu u kojoj je polako prilistavao, pregledavao. So, after half an hour, i posle pola sat, I went up to him ja sam otišao k njemu and I said him, what are you looking for? I pitao sam ga, šta tražite? Maybe I can help you. Možda bih mogao da vam pomognem. And he said to me, a on mi je kazao, in this book, u ovoj knjizi, we have the names, imamo imena, of all the people, svih onih ljudi, who have spoken against communism. Koji su govorili protiv komunizma. And I felt a cold chill in my knees. A onda su moja kolena počela da drhte da klece. So, they call them anti-revolutionist. Oni su ih nazivali anti-revolucionari. And I said to him, A ja sam mu onda kazao, What will you do to me? 
Šta ćete uraditi sa mnom? If my name is there. Ako je moje ime u toj knjizi. I'm an American citizen. Ja sam američki građanin. And he was very sarcastic. A on je bio veoma sarkastičan. He said, don't worry. Rekao je, ne bilježite. Imamo posebne načine na postupanje sa takvim ljudima. A znao sam na što je mislio. Oni su ubijali ljude. A onda su ih odnosili u šume. A u Etiopiji imamo animu koji je Ahina. U Etiopiji postoji jedna životinja koja se zove Ahina. Kijena. Koja ima 500 funti pritisak vilica. I kada grupa tih životinja vas rastrže za večeru, pojedu sve. Your bones, everything. I kosti i sve ostalo. So even the CIA can't find you. Čak ni CIA, CIA ne može da vas pronađe. You're in the stomach of those animals. U stomaku tih životinja. So I went back to my bench. Zatim sam se vratio na kupu. With my knees shaking. A kolena su mi se tresla. And my wife said to me. A moja supruga mi je kazala nije trebalo da napišeš ovu knjigu. Sada ću da se vratim kući kao u Dorica. I naredna dva sata on je gledao tu knjigu i za dva sata moje osjećanja i moja vera su se razdvojili. O moje osjećanja su mi govorila neću živ izaći iz ove zemlje. Moje osjećanja su govorila Bog me neće zaštititi. Jer nisam poslušao svog vođu koji mi je zamolio da spalim tu knjigu. Moje osjećanje su bila potpuno negativne. Ali moja vera mi je govorila Bog me voli večnom ljubavlju. Moja vera mi je rekla da me Isus nikada neće napustiti. I i zahvaljujući mom poznavanju evanđelja bio sam u stanju da se držim. I nakon dva sata uzeo je moj pasoč i udario je pečat izlazne vizije. I onda sam posetio olakšanje. Ali u toku ta dva sata moja žena mi je pridihovala zašto sam i prigoharala, zašto sam napisao tu knjigu. Ali kada je udario izlaznu vizu, rekao sam joj, imaš malo vere. I want your faith to be established on the rock Jesus Christ. Ja želim da vaša vera bude utemeljena na stegi Isusu Hristu. So that you may be able to face the crisis that comes to your life. Da biste mogli da se suočite sa krizom koja će možda doći na vašem životu. There are four major distinctions. Postoje četiri glavne razlike između evanđelja, radosne vesti spasenja i primene evanđelja, što je u stvari život hrišćanina. I ja želim da vi vidite te razlike, da ne biste bili zbrkani, zbunjeni. A sutra ćemo početi da proučavamo 
onerovatno i radosno i vesno. Ok, what are the distinctions? Koje su, dakle, te osobenosti, te razlike? Number one. Broj jedan. The gospel is universal. Evanđenje je univerzalno. What do I mean by that? Šta po tim podrazumemo? Well, let's look at some texts. Hajde da pogledamo neke tekste. The first one you should know. Prvi sigurno poznajte. John 3.16. Jovan 3.16. God so loved the world. Bog je toliko ljubio svet, jer Bog tako omile svet, that he gave us his only son. Da je i sina svojega jedino rovnoga dao. But the world here is the human race. What? The world is the human race. The entire human race. Uh, svet je cela ljudska rasa, cel svet. So when it says God loved the world, it means he loves the entire human race. I kad kaže da mu je omilao svet, on misli na celu ljudsku rasu. Ok, let's turn to first Timothy. Pogledajmo sada prvu Timotijevu poslanicu. First Timothy, chapter 2. Prva Timotijeva, druga glava. And we're going to read verse 5 and 6. Stih 5 i 6. This is what we call a universal text. Ovaj tekst nazivamo univerzalni. That means it applies to the entire human race. To znači da obuhvata celu ljudsku rasu. Ok, first Timothy, let me find it. Prva Timotvjeva, druga glava. Chapter 5 i 6. Stih 5 i 6. Chapter 2. And look at verse 5 and 6. For there is one God jer je jedan Bog and one mediator between God and man i jedan posrednik Boga i ljudi the man Christ Jesus čovjek Hristos Isus who gave himself a ransom for all koji sebe dade u otkup za sve have you got it? he gave himself a ransom for all jeste li zapazili? koji sebe dade u otkup za sve. And the all is the entire human race. A ovo sve znači cela ljudska rasa, cela ljudski rod. To be testified in due time. Za svjedočanstvo u svoje vreme. And then Paul adds, for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I onda Pavle dodaje, za koje sam postavljen propovednik i apostol. I'm speaking the truth in Christ and not lying. Istinu govorim u Hristu, ne lažem. A teacher of the Gentiles. Učitelj njezna Božaca. In faith and truth. U veri i istini. Now the reason he's saying this is because many of the Jews believe that Christ saved only the Jews. On ovo govori zbog toga što su mnogi jevreji verovali da je Hristos spasio samo jevreji. Ali Pavle kaže ne. On je spasio cijel ljudski rod. Ima mnogo tekstova, ali ćemo pogledati samo nekoliko. Titus chapter 2. Zdaj ću dok ovdje sekret Timothy. Jer se pokaza blagodat Božnija koja spasava sve ljude And the word man is mankind, the human race. I ovo sve ljude znači čovečanstvo, ljudski rod. So the gospel is good news for everybody. Dakle, evanđenje je radosna vest za sve. But will everybody go to heaven? Ali hoće li svi otići na nebo? No. Ne. Because it is a gift. Jer to je da. And like any gift, i kao što je slučaj sa bilo kojim narom, ne možete da uživate u njemu ako ga odbijete. Dakle, primjena evanđelja je samo za one koji veruju. 
That is why in John 3:16 it says, "Whosoever believeth." Dakle, zato u Jovanu 3:16 kaže da svako koji ga veri shall not perish but have everlasting life. Neće poginuti, nego će imati večni život. Let me give you a couple of texts on this too. Hajde da pronađemo još nekoliko tekstova o ovom. I mentioned John 3:16. I would like you to turn to it and look at verse 17 and 18. Chapter 3 of John. I am For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. Jer Bog ne posla Sina svojega na svet da sudi svetu, but that the world through him might be saved. Nego da se svet spase krozanjom. Now look at verse 18. I onda 18. stih. He who believes in him is not condemned. Koji njega veruje, ne sudi mu se. That's the incredible good news. To je nevjerovatno radosna vez. But there is a but. Ali postoji, but he who a, does not believe is condemned already. Ali koji ne veruje, već je osuđen. Why? Zašto? Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Jer ne veruva u ime jedinorodnoga Sina Božjega. Man is not lost because they are sinners. A, mnogi su izgubljeni ne zbog toga što su grešnici. Because we were born one. Jesmo kao takvi rođeni. We are lost because we reject the gift of Jesus Christ. Izgubljeni smo ako odbacujemo Isusa Hrista. Look at verse 36. Same time. Pogledajmo uh, isto poglavlje, 36. stih. He who believes in the Son Onaj ko veruje Sina has everlasting life. Ima život večni. And he who does not believe in the Son Ako ne veruje Sina shall not see life. Neće vidjeti život. But the wrath of God abides on him. Nego ne Boži ostaje na njemu. Then turn to Mark. The Gospel of Mark. Sada ćemo pogledati Evanđelje po Marku. Chapter 16. 16. pogledaj. And listen to the great commission Jesus gave his disciples. I pogledat ćemo veliki nalog koji je Isus dao učenicima. John 16 and verse 15. John 16, sorry, Mark 16 and verse 15. Marko 16, pogled je 15. stih. And he said to them, I reče im, This is Jesus talking to the disciples. To je Isus govori svojim učenicima. Go into all the world. Idite po svemu svetu. And preach the gospel to every creature. I propovedajte li evanđelje svakom stvorenju. Because this is the good news to everybody. Jer je to radosna vest za svakoga. Now look at verse 16. A pogledajmo sada 16. stih. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Koji uzveruje i pokrsti se, spašće se. There is no maybe, will be saved. Nema možda, nego bit će spašen. But it says. Ali kaže he who does not believe ko ne verlje will be condemned. Osudit će se. Man is lost because he is without Christ. Mnogi su izgubljeni zato što su bez Hrista. But they can't be God. Ali oni ne mogu kriviti Boga. For being lost. Zbog toga što su izgubljeni. They can't even blame Adam. Oni čak krive Adam. Because Jesus reversed the damage Adam did to the human race. Uh, ali Isus je uh, nadoknadio štetu koju je Adam nano u ljudskom rodu. They can only blame one person. Oni mogu da krive samo jednu osobu. Themselves. Sebe same. For rejecting the gift. Zbog toga što odbija im da. So the gospel is universal. Dakle, evanđenje je univerzalno. The application is to the individual believer. Ali primjena je na, uh, individualna. So that, that's the first distinction. To je dakle prva osobnost. Okay, prva now let's look at the second distinction. 
Pogledajmo sada drugu razliku. Evanđelje je bezuslovna radosna vest. Now what do I mean by that? Šta po ti podrazumemo? We have done nothing. Mi ništa nismo učinili. To deserve salvation. Da bismo zaslužili spasenje. We are saved by grace alone. Mi smo spašeni jedino milošću. The Bible is clear on this. Biblija je jasna po tome. Let's look at a couple of texts. Pogledajmo nekoliko tekstova. Romans chapter 5. Rimljanima 5. poglavlje. In Romans 5, and verses 6 to 10, Paul is discussing the love of God, which is the ground of our salvation. We will discuss in more detail tomorrow the love of God. But he explains this love in Romans 5. Ali on objašnjava tu ljubav u Rimljanima 5. Verse 6 to 10. Stihovi 6 do 10. In the context of the gospel. U kontekstu evanđelja. Look at verse 6. Pogledajmo 6. Two things in verse 6. Two things. Dve stvari u šestom stihu. For when we were without strength, još kad slabi bi jasno. And that means we were incapable of saving ourselves. To znači nismo bili sposobni da spasimo sami sebe. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly. U svoje vreme, Hristos je umro za bezbožnike. And that word ungodly in the original means wicked. A to u originalu znači za zle. We were helpless. We were helpless. And we were wicked. And Jesus died for us. Then verse 7. He described human love. On opisuje ljudsku ljubav. Human beings cannot love die for somebody that is bad. Ljudska bića ne umiru za one koji su, ne žele da umru za one koji su loši. Poslušajmo sedmi stvari. Jer jedva ko umre za pravednika. Za dobro da može biti da bi se ko usudio umre. To je ultimate od ljudske ljubav. To je krajnja granica ljudske ljubavi. Even Jesus said so. Čak i Isus to kaže. Greater love there is no man that would lay down his life for his friend. Veće ljubavi nema od te nego kad prijatelj položi svoj život za prijatelj. And now look at the same. Ali pogledajmo osmice. But, ali, that is in complete contrast to human love. To znači u potpunoj suprotnosti sa ljudskom ljubavi. God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Bog pokazuje svoju ljubav k nama što Hristos još kad bi jasno grešnici umre za nas. We were helpless. Bili smo bespomoćni. We were wicked. Bili smo zli. We were still sinners. Bili smo grešnici. And Christ died for us. A Hristos je umro za nas. That is unconditional good love. To je bezuslovna Božja ljubav. And then in verse 10. A onda u desetom stihu. Paul adds one more step. Pavle dodaje još jedan korak. For if when we were enemies. Dok smo još bili neprijatelji. Whose enemy? Čiji neprijatelji? God's enemy. Boži neprijatelji. We were reconciled to God through the death of His Son. Pomirili smo se s Bogom smrću Sina Njegova. And the word reconciled means the barrier between a holy God and a sinful man was removed at the cross. A reč pomiriti, pomirili smo se znači da je barijera 
koja je postojala između Boga i ljudi u uklonjena na krstu. And please notice, Paul is saying, we were reconciled, not we will be, but we were past that. I zapazimo da Pavle kaže, pomirili smo se, a ne kaže, pomirit ćemo se, dakle, prošlo vreme. And therefore he ends up in verse 10, much more had it been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Zato završava u desetnom stiku i kaže mnogo ćemo se već na spasti u životu njegovu kad smo se pomirili. Dakle, nemoj nikada sumnjati u svoje spasenje. Jer je evanđelje bezuslovna radosna vest. So if the devil comes to you, ako džavo dođe k vama i kaže vam nisi dovoljno dobar da bi bio spašen možda je u pravo ali mi se ne spasavamo zato što smo dovoljno dobri mi se spasavamo zato što nas Bog ljubi i spasava nas in Jesus Christ. Look, look at Ephesians 2. Let me find out that. Ephesians 2. Just two verses. Samo dva stika. Five and six. Peti i šesti. Even when we were dead in trespasses. I nas koji bja smo mrtvi od grehova. Made us alive together with Christ. Oživje s Hristom. And then in brackets, by grace you have been saved. U zagradi kaže, blago da ću ste spasti. Not you will be, but you have been saved. Ne, bit ćete spašeni, nego ste spašeni. And raise this up together. I s njim vas krse. And made us sit together. I posadi na nebesima in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. U Hristu Isusu. That is incredible good news. To je neverovatna radosna vest. And it's for everybody. I zavaži za svakoga. But, ali, once again, još jedno, does it mean everybody will go to heaven? Da li to znači da će svi otići na nebo? Unconditional. Bezuslovno. No. Ne. Experiencing that salvation doživljavajući to spasenje is conditional. Doživljavanje tog spasenja je uslovno. Mi treba da prihvatimo taj dar. To experience justification da iskusimo opravdanje and peace with God i mir sa Bogom we must believe in Jesus Christ. Moramo da verujemo u Isusa Hrista. Paul said in Romans 5 verse 1 Pavle kaže u Rimljanima 5, prvi stih, being justified by faith, budući opravdani verom, we are pleased with God. Mi imamo mir sa Bogom. I will explain faith on another day. Jednog drugog dana ću vam objasniti šta je to vera. So, the gospel is good news. Dakle, evanđelje je radosna verica. For everybody. Za svakoga. God did the loving, did the loving, Bog je učinio ljubav sa svoje strane i dao nam je. A mi verujemo. Polovina je verovati. Naš deo je da verujemo, naš deo je da hodamo u duhu. Od početka do kraja, naš deo je da verujemo. Od početka do kraja naš deo, ono što mi treba da učinimo, jeste vera. A to je druga osobenost, druga razlika. Evanđenje je bezuslovna radosna vest, a iskustvo evanđenja je uslovno. Kogod poveruje. Now number three distinction. A sada osobenost broj tri. The gospel is a finished work. Evanđelje je završen posao. You can't add to it. You can't. You cannot. Ne možete ništa tome dodati. You cannot improve on it. Ne možete ništa poboljšati. You can only accept. 
Само можете да го прихватите. When Jesus cried on the cross, it is finished. Каде е Исус на крсто звикно свршено е. What did he mean? Што е мислил кога сте? When before he died. Пред него што е умрал. In John 17. У Јовану 17. He prayed to the Father. Он се молио Бог. And in verse four he said, I have finished the work you have given me to do. И казал е за посол свршен кој си ми дал. What what did Christ? What did what did God give Christ to do? Како посол е Бог дал Христу да обави. He didn't come here as a tourist. Он не е дошол на овој земја као турист. You know, in Africa. Знаете, у Африка. Where I was born. Таму каде сам роден. In Kenya. У Кени. We have a lot of wonderful wild animals. И имамо пуно пред предивни диви животини. Lions, elephants, giraffes, giraffes, all kinds of. And there are some people who want to go on safari. Има луѓи кои желат да идат на сафари да видат тие животини. They can afford it. Могу тоа да плате. So they say, I want to go there as a missionary. А јас сум таму оди што е таа мисионер. So that the church can pay them to go there. Da bi crkva to you. No, no. There are missionaries who want to see those animals. I, I was born there, so I don't need to go. A postoje misionari koji koji žele to da vide, ali idu tamo kao misionari da bi crkva za to platila. From America. Ima ljudi iz Amerike, iz Evrope. They can't afford to go there. Koji ne mogu sebi da priušte od nas tamo. They say to the church, "Can you send me there as a missionary?" Found the cash of my church. We must tell them to go there to become a missionary. We call them tourist missionaries. By me, we call them tourist missionaries. Because they very seldom carry this book. Yeah, but very rarely they carry this book. They carry the camera. They carry the camera. You see, God. Did not send Jesus here as a tourist. Znate, Bog nije poslao Isusa na ovu zemlju kao turistu. This is the last place He would send here in here, but as a tourist. Ovo je posljednje mjesto u svemiru na koje bi on otišao kao turista. He sent Him here to save you and me. On ga je ovdje poslao da spasi meni i tebe. We read that in verse 17 of John 3. Pročitali smo o tome u Jovanu 3.17. And on the cross Jesus said it is finished. I na krstu Isus je kazao svršeno. John 19 verse 30. Jovan 19.13. In Colossians 2.10. U Kološanima drugoj glavi desetog stihu. Paul tells us. Paolo nam kaže. We are complete in Christ. Da smo mi potpuni u Hristu. Ne možete popraviti nešto što je savršeno. Dakle, evanđenje je obavljen posao. Nemojte više da sumnjate u svoje spasenje. Ali hrišćanski život je odgovoran proces je proces koji traje. You know, in America, Znate, u Americi in the bumper at the back, na branicima kola pozadi they stick all kind of slogans. Uh, ljudi lepe razne slogane. And, you know, some are political, neki su politički, some are, you know, sports, you know. neki su but some are religious. Ali neki su religiozni. And one of them goes like this. E jedan od tih slogana glasi ovako. Please be patient with me. Molim te, budi strpljiv sa mnom. God is not through with me as yet. Bog još nije završio sa mnom. When it comes to salvation as an experience, kada govorimo o spasenju kao i iskustvu it is an ongoing process možemo da kažemo da je to proces koji traje koji je u to you and I will not graduate ti i ja nećemo diplomirati from that process 
u tom procesu until the second coming of Christ. Sve do drugog Hristovog dolaska. When this corruption puts on in corruption. Kada ovo propadljivo uh, postane nepropadljivo. Let me show you something. Turn back to Ephesians 2. Vratimo se na Efesima drugu glavu. We read verse 5 and 6. Uh, pročitali smo stihove 5 i 6. <coughs> All the words in these two verses. All the words. Svi glagoli u ova dva stika is in the past tense. Su u prošlom vremenu. Because the gospel is a finished work. Jer je evanđenje obavljen posao. But verse 7 ali stih 7 is the experience of that salvation. Je iskustvo tog spasenja. Listen to what it says. Poslušajmo šta kaže. That in the ages to come da u vekovima koji idu that is future to je budućnost he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus da pokaže da u vekovima koji idu preveliko bogatstvo blagodati svoje dobrotom na nama u Hristu Isusu and then turn backwards to Romans chapter 8 a onda se vratimo na Rimljanima and listen to what Paul says here. He has been explaining the gospel in chapter 3 right up to chapter towards the end of chapter 8. And now listen to what he says. Verse 22 talking to believers for we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pains together until now. And not only they, that is creation, but we also have the first fruit of the Spirit nego i mi koji novinu duha imamo even we ourselves grown within ourselves i mi sami u sebi uzdišemo but please notice he's not talking about growing publicly okay? molim vas zapasite on ne govori o tome da mi uzdišemo ja we're growing within ourselves nego u sebi eagerly waiting for the adoption the redemption of our body čekajući posinjenje we have been redeemed. But our body has not yet been redeemed. So we are waiting for his coming. And because this body of sin makes it very difficult to live the Christian life. We are groaning. When will you liberate us from this body of sin? Kada će nas ono slobodici ovog grešnog tela? So Christian living is an ongoing process. Dakle, Christianski život je proces koji traje. Before Paul died as a martyr. Pre nego što je Pavle umro kao mučenik. Before he was executed in Rome. Pre nego što je bio pogubljen u Rimu. While he was in prison. Dok je još bio u zatvoru, napisao je dve poslanice. To su dve posljednje poslanice koje je napisao svojim perom pre svoga pogubljenja. Prvo je bila druga Timotiju poslanica. I on je kazao Timotiju, ja napuštam ovaj svet. To guard this gospel. I želim da ti čuvaš ovo evanđelje. Don't let anyone pervert it. Nemoj da dozvoliš da ga iko izokrene, izopači. The second letter druga poslanica was to Philippians. Bila je Filipijanima. And in chapter 3 i u trećem poglavlju this is what the great apostle wrote. Ovo je napisao veliki apostol. In verse 12 onwards u 12. stiku i dalje I am not claiming to be perfect ja ne tvrdim da sam savršen but I am pressing forward ali idem napred forgetting the past 
we had 42 nationalities in the church. U crkvi smo imali 42 nacionalnosti. And they were fighting like cats and dogs. I oni su se međusobno borili kao psi i mačke. Blacks versus whites. Crni protiv belaca. Hutus versus Tutsi. Hutu protiv Tutsija. Dva plemena. If I may say so. I'm using this example. Everywhere, he took the gospel. He took the gospel to unite them. Ali evanđelje treba da sjedinje. So one day, we had a big program. Imali smo veliki program. A prayer breakfast was going. Prayer breakfast. Kao molitveni doručak. And we invited all the embassies because we had 83 embassies around our church. I pošto oko naše crkve ima 83 ambasade, pozvali smo kao goste ljude iz ambasada. And one of the diplomats who came to this meeting. Jedan od diplomata koji je došao na taj sastanak. Was from South Africa. Bio je iz Južne Afrike. And he saw the unity. I video je jedinstvo. And he said to me. I onda mi je kazao. How did you unite these people? Kako ste uspeli da ujedinite ove ljude? In my country. U mojoj zemlji. We have tried for years. Godinama smo pokušavali. We fought against apartheid. Borili smo se protiv apartheida. But even now. Ali čak i sada. After apartheid was destroyed. Nakon uništenja, ukidanja apartheida. Mi smo ujedinjeni. And I said, I did not do it. A ja sam kazao, ja to nisam učinio. The gospel did it. Evanđenje je to učinilo. In Jesus Christ, u Isusu Hristu, there is no Jew or Gentile. Nema jevrejina, niti ne zna Božca. No male or female. Nema roda muškoga, ni ženskoga. There is no rich or poor. Ni bogatoga, ni siromašnoga. There is no educated and uneducated. Nema obrazovanog i neobrazovanog. We are all one in Christ. Svi smo jedno u Hristu. That is the most powerful evidence of the gospel. To je najmoćniji dokaz u korist evanđelja. The gospel can do something Evanđenje može da učini nešto što ujedinjene nacije ne mogu da učine. Da ujedine ljude i žene iz svih slojeva društva. To je demonstracija evanđelja. Hrištjeno ne mi ne učinje, ali demonstruje naša salvežnost. Hrišćanski život nas ne spasava, nego pokazuje, demonstrira silu evanđenja. Pogledat ćemo još jedan nazad u poslanicu, treće poglavlje, treće poglavlje, dva stiha. Verse 5 is the gospel. Not by works of righteousness which we have done. But according to his mercy he saved us. Through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Banjom preporođenja i obnovljenjem Duha Svetoga. That's the gospel. To je evanđelje. But now look at verse 8. Ali pogledajmo sada osmi stih. To je hrišćanski život. Primjena evanđelja. This is a faithful saying. Istinita je reč. And these things I want you to affirm constantly. I u ovome hoću da se utvrđuješ stalno. That those who have believed in God. Da se oni koji verovaše Bogu. Should be careful to maintain good works. Trude i staraju za dobro delo. These things are good and profitable to mankind. Ovo je korisno ljudima i dobro. Please notice, they are profitable not to the believer. 
do menka. Molimo da molim vas da zapazite, korisne su ne za vernike, nego za sve ljude. Let me put it in very simple language. Da to kažemo najjednostavnim rečima. We are living today in a scientific world. Mi danas živimo u svetu u kome je nauka mnogo napredovala. And science will not accept any idea as fact unless it can be demonstrated. I nauka neće da prihvati nikakvu ideju kao činjenicu ukoliko je ne dokaže. The world out there doesn't care you shout I'm saying. They don't care about that. Oni ne mare za to ako vi vičete ja sam spaš. They want to see salvation. Oni žele da vide spasenje. So when they come into our church, i kada dolaze u našu crkvu, if they see jealousy, ako vide ljubomor, bad by the way, bad by the way, is talking against somebody behind them. Ogovaranje, being critical, kritikovanje, then they say they are not different than us. Onda oni kažu pa oni se ni u čemu ne razlikuju od nas. When they see love, ali ako vide ljubav, when they see two different ethnic groups loving each other, ako vide dve različite etničke grupe kako se vole, let me give a wonderful example. Dozvolite mi da vam dam jedan divan primjer. One day, jednog dana, a pastor came to visit me. Jedan pastor je došao da me posjeti. U Africi. He was from Uganda. Bio je iz Ugande. And we were talking. I mi smo tako razgovarali. And there was a knock on the door. I neko je začulo se kucanje na vrat. So I went to the door. Ja sam otišao do vrata. And opened it. Otvorio ih. And there was another pastor. I bio je tu još jedan pastor. From Tanzania. Iz Tanzanije. And these two countries were at war. A te dve zemlje su bile u ratu. They were killing each other. Ubijali su se među sobom. And I said to myself, shall I let this man in? Because if he sees the Uganda past, then what will he do? I onda sam se ja pitao, da li da ovog čovjeka pustim unutra, jer kad vidi pastor iz Ugande, ne znam šta ću uraditi. So I decided to bring him in. Odlučio sam ipak da ga uvedem. But to stay very close. Ali da budem vrlo blizu. So if he attacks the other pastor, I will stop him. I da u slučaju da napadne onog drugog pastora da ga zaustavim. So I brought him in. Tako sam ga uveo unutra. And the Uganda pastor stood up. A pastor iz Uganda je ustao. And they looked at each other. Pogledali su se. And they jumped at each other. I skočili jedan na drugu. Not to fight. Ne da. But to hug each other. Skočili su. Ne da se bore, nego da se zagrvore. I onda sam kazao, evo, to je sila Evanđelja. To je ono što Evanđelje čini. Ono nas sjedinjuje. Kada sam zapuštao Etiopiju, trebalo je da iznadim kamion koji će povesti naše stvari. Like in many places. U Africi kao i u mnogim drugim mestima. They charge you one price. On naplaćuje vam jednu cenu. If you're a local person. Ako ste iz tog mesta. And another price if you're a foreigner. A a drugu cenu ako ste stranac. So I took my African pastor with me. I tako sam povelo povelo sa sobom. So that he would not charge me too much. Da mi ne naplate suvišno. So we found this truck. I tako smo našli kamion. The African pastor bargained with him. I pastor iz Afrike se pogodio sa kamionđu. The truck owner wanted a big price. Kamionđu je želao visoku cenu. And the African pastor said, no, no, I know what the cost is. You are charging him too much. A pastor iz Afrike je kazao da ne zna, ja znam koja je cena, mnogo mi dražiš. And the African driver said, A vozač iz Afrike to the African pastor, i je kazao pastoru iz Afrike, Why are you helping this foreigner? Zašto pomažeš ovom strancu? You should be helping me. Trebalo bi meni da pomažeš. And the pastor said to him, A pastor mu je kazao, You, I don't know. Tebe ne poznajem. But he and me are one in Christ. 
A on i ja smo jedno u Hristu. Now the truck, truck driver I je was a Muslim. Bio musliman. And he saw Christianity. I video je he said, this is wonderful. I kazao je, to je divno. That you can love each other. Što možete da volite jedan drugoga. And I said, a ja sam rekao, a true Christian does not hate. Pravi hrišćanin ne mrzi. He doesn't kill his enemy. On ne ubija svog neprijatelja. The terrorist is doing, you know, the terrorist is doing. To ho čine teroristi. We just love each other. Nama je potrebna But ljubav. But all that, all that, is the fruits of salvation. Sve to je plod, uh, rod spasenja. And it's very simple. I stvar je vrlo jednostavna. If you want the right apple, ako želite pravu jagodu, you have the right tree. Treba da imate pravo drvo. If your knowledge of the gospel, if your the knowledge of the gospel is incomplete, ako je vaše poznavanje evanđelja nepotpuno, your experience will be incomplete. I vaše iskustvo će biti nepotpuno. If the knowledge of the gospel is incorrect, ako je vaše znanje Uh, poznavanje evanđelja neispravno Your experience will be incorrect. i vaše iskustvo će biti neispravno. That is why Zbog toga the first few studies, u prva nekoliko proučavanja mi ćemo uh, tražiti evanđelje. I uh, zbog toga što ako ga razumemo the ispravno the Rod će doći sam po sebi. For Paul said. Je Pavle je rekao. First Corinthians 3:11. Prva Korinčanima 3:11. Other foundation can no one lay except it is already laid. Drugog temelja niko ne može postaviti osim onoga koji je već postavljen. On this foundation. Na tom temelju. Jesus Christ. Isus Hristos. We must build ours. Christ. Koji je Isus Hristos mi kao hrišćani se nazidavaju. I to je moja molitva za vas. Da razumete istinu kao što je onako kako je u Hristu. I istina će vas osloboditi. Osloboditi će vas od straha. Od krivice. Free from insecurity. Od nesigurnosti. Because you know in whom you believe. Jer ćete znati u koga verujem. That is my prayer for you. I to je moja molitva za vas. Tomorrow evening. I zato za sutra uvečer. Let's you start with the gospel. Počet ćemo sa evanđelje. This incredible good news of salvation. Sa tom neverovatnom radosnom vesti spasenja. And after that. A nakon toga ćemo govoriti o primjenju evanđelja. I neka vas Bog blagoslovi da bismo neka vas Bog blagoslovi da budemo provodili naredne večeri zajedno. Pomolit ćemo se. Loving Father, Oče naš dragi koji nas ljubiš, zahvaljujemo ti što si toliko ljubio svet, što si toliko ljubio nas, iako smo bili grešnici i tvoji neprijatelji, da si dao svoga jednorodnog sina, da si dao svoga jednorodnog sina, da nas oslobodi problema greha i otvori vrata neba koje je Adam zatvorio. Bože, pomozi svakome od nas da razume ovu nevjerovatnu radosnu vezu da bismo se radovali u Hristu i da bismo mogli da kažemo sa Pavlom For me to live is Christ But to die is profit Za mene je smrt dobitak God bless each bound head here That this truth may become real in their lives 
Molimo te Bože, blagoslovi svakoga ovdje od nas da bi ova istina da bi ova istina bila deo vašeg života i to te molimo u Isusovo ime. Amen.